What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be setting up this little 12 terabyte drive. It's from Ken Hank, it's on Amazon. And we're gonna be playing some games on this thing. And we're gonna be installing all of the files on this drive. I installed Avast, internet security, and then malware bytes. And we're gonna see if there's any like warnings from any of the install files from this hard drive. Because on the Ken Hank YouTube channel, it tells you to go into your settings and to disable all of your internet security stuff. I am not going to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that I have a vast here. Um, and then it, it has offline mode turned on. So that means that nothing is gonna be able to access my internet. If you have a dedicated computer, what you can also do is you can enter, it's called a VC mode. It's like a virtual machine mode. I'm not going to end up doing that. I just feel like that's a waste of time. I'm not really sure why it keeps like, not just like automatically popping up. That's kind of annoying that it has to, to like come up over here. Or is it because it's not in front of me? Okay, there we go. So basically what it's doing right now is it's installing all the Visual C++ files. You do need like pretty much every single one of them. So on the actual drive, it has each and every single one of these and then there's just one install file. So this is what I was saying about when you're setting this thing up, it literally walks you through quite literally everything that you have to do, literally. You know what I mean? So this is a very simple, easy, simple drive to actually set up. And if you've like done any of this stuff before, um, pretty much everything that's on your computer is gonna be ready to go in the first place. My, micro, my uh, microwave did just barely go off. The drive's already working. I don't even need to set any of this stuff up. I'm just showing you that with somebody that has malware bytes installed on their computer, and then also that's on the computer that there's not really any issues. And then all this, so this is literally, that's all you do. I, so just so we're clear, I don't install any of the Play Night stuff, okay? So installation, you do need to install the Retrobat. If you, so this is where the, this is where Avast and Malwarebytes are going to notify you for stuff. And it is why I, I tell people you need a dedicated computer for these because listen, I know not everybody is in, in the same situation as me, but I'm not, I have a dedicated computer that I use for playing PC games and I don't need to play PC games on with this. Okay. So the re, there, there's a reason that that, that they come up when you do that, you go to the color type and then you just go into the, the, uh, folder here. It's definitely going to crank really loudly or actually back from this keyboard sweet keyboard dude sick and then there you go man that's literally it and you get everything set up so it has the hyperspin has techno parrot it's got cody launch box play night retro bat and i didn't set this up so i'm not going to go in there launch box don't really like the interface it is big box but Whatever, Cody did set that up. Techno Pair, it's like a bunch of arcade. Hyperspin is just a very interactive user interface. It's it's very like, there's a lot of colors. There's a lot of like animations. There's just a lot of everything going on. Um, but this is more so for like collections. All right, bro. I was recording there for about an hour and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into hyperspin if it will allow me to do something. So I intentionally reset everything to show everybody how to actually set this thing up, which I showed you how to set it up. But for some reason, for some reason, I don't understand where the Super Mario fan game fan games are. It is supposed to be in this section. I'm not, I actually have a recording showing you guys this when I first got this and set it up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this because just so you realize that I'm not a, uh... all right, this is the one, right? See, does this not look, okay, I might be an idiot right now. I'm an idiot, this is the other drive. Okay, yeah, this is the other drive. Where is it? It, ha it has to be here. 
S on PQRS TV. We're almost there. T wait, did I scroll by it already? Here we go. You see? This was not. This is the other drive. You see all the Mario hacks? I'm a friggin' idiot. Let's hold on. Where is it right here? So this is what it looks like. No. Relax, guy. <laughs> That's self crack. What's that? Relax, guy. All right, let me try this one more time. I can't believe I just spent two hours trying to figure out something when I'm literally using the wrong drug. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot right now. <laughs> so there's two, there's two versions of this. There's one that has hyper spin only. There and uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's what that one is over there. So yeah, man, highly recommend this setup. Um, you know, like the mini PC. I like I said, I know a lot of people use that thing for productivity and work and stuff of that nature, but if it plays games, of course it's gonna be good for productivity and stuff like that. It's got it's got DDR5, it's got a two terabyte NVMe, it's got the 8945HS, but I, I just like Geekum because I've been using their products quite a bit. If you do ever like, if you wanted to like upgrade, you can absolutely get like a, a gaming laptop. I mean, I personally would get a computer if, if you were gonna go that route. However, I only got this because I have a 4090 in my computer and I, as somebody that's using their computers to edit videos, work from home and all of that kind of stuff, I did not wanna deal with the headache that everybody is going through with the 50 series. So I simply kept the 4090 and I got a laptop with a 5090. Just, I mean, I need this for portability when I'm really traveling and stuff regardless so i don't have to use my phone like i'm using right now um but yeah overall great little setup highly recommend it this is probably going to run you about a thousand bucks in total like the mini pc at least right now this is it would probably be like around like 700 because the mini pc is actually on sale on amazon um but anyways if you want like more games like if you want more games get the hyperspin drive. This is not the, so this is a five in one. So what you just barely saw when we were, when we were doing all that stuff, how it had Retrobat, it had LaunchBox, it had Play Night, it had hyperspin, it had Techno Parrot, then it had Cody. The, the hyperspin drive has hyperspin, Cody, and Play Night. It's like, it's like three in one. You don't get Retrobat and you don't get the, uh, the techno parrot but i mean you can literally install retrobat on your computer and then just like whatever do do things from there uh but either way the the 12 terabyte drive that only has the hyperspin i mean as you could imagine there's less box art there's less interface stuff there's less of everything so because of that um you know you get more with that drive which is why i got so confused because I'm just a genius and forgot there was two of them. <laughs> but yeah, 